We are ready to go here as the playoffs first round, the double headers will end today. As Minnesota plays Army and Michigan State will play Tennessee. And the right to go to the Elite Eight. Very big as Minnesota and Army and Michigan State, Tennessee. Four solid teams, but it looks like Minnesota and Army, it looks like Minnesota is a little underwhelmed and same with Michigan State. When you take a look at Minnesota, they did already play Army. And when you take a look at this game, Minnesota and Army. Minnesota. Minnesota got killed by Army. As you can see, 33 to 14. They were at home. So guess what? Now they're on the road. This game could be a massacre. That's Minnesota at 9, 2, and 1. The question is about Army. Army at 10-1-1. One, one. They look to have a little better football team as they are 10-1-1 one, one with their only loss coming to Kentucky. A very bizarre loss, then a tie against 1940 Minnesota. Okay, so they tied Minnesota. I was looking at the wrong one. So Army and Minnesota. Well, actually, no. This is 45 Army. So... Taking a look, 41 Minnesota. So I keep messing everything up. This is 19. Let's see as we take a look at the Brian. 1940 Minnesota. So these teams tied in the regular season. So we're about ready to go for a kickoff. It should be a good one as Michigan State, Minnesota. Uh, Minnesota, sorry, of 1940 and Army. Minnesota of 1940 and Army. They tied the last time they played. This is overtime. This is pretty much overtime. And let's go to Army as we take a look now. Um, we're going to just set it up and make sure. Here and there it is. So we're going to go to Army now and see West Point, New York. And we're going to begin this game. Mitchie Stadium. Okay, we're ready to go. Both, uh, well, the Army quarterback, Tucker, looking very good in his ratings. And Frank, from Minnesota, to be frank, is not looking that great. The last time they played, it was a 14-14 tie. So we're looking today for something that's going to be, this is going to be the tiebreaker. You're going to have to have a win today. They both were in the same conference. So here comes Minnesota. They're going to be kicking off to Army, and we're going to be underway from the 40-yard line. The kick from the 8-yard line. Here comes Army up to the 42, and it'll be a first down. First and 10 for Army as they go to the single wing. Tucker, the quarterback. The snap, Tucker, and... It looks like it's a direct snap to the running back to the 40, down to the 30, and to the 20, 15, 10, 5, first play, touchdown Army. 
Touchdown Army, first play, and... And Army on the first play of the football game. Goes all the way, and it is an early six to nothing lead. Ah, wow, I'll, I'll tell you what, I didn't believe that. 58 yards in one play. Here comes the extra point for Army. As the kick, snap, spot, kick is always blocked. And it is blocked by Johnson. And it is still six to nothing. So a block by Minnesota, and now they're gonna kick it deep. It'll be the up man at the 15, up to the 22, and it'll be a first down for Minnesota. Well, Minnesota will start it. They play a single wing. The quarterback is Smith, 1940 Minnesota, first down. The snap, Smith again to the left-hand side. He maybe gets a yard. It'll be second now, no gain. So Army six, Minnesota nothing. Last time they played, it was a, there's going to be a penalty, and let's see what it is. Ball start. Offense, five-yard penalty. Repeat, second down. Minnesota with a penalty here. It's going to push them back to first and 15. We're just underway here. Army has a six to nothing lead. <laughs> The snap, handoff up the middle. They got nothing there. It'll be third and 13. When we were looking at teams, it was Frank will be the quarterback here. We looked at 41 Minnesota got killed by Army, but 40 Minnesota tied him. Third down. The snap, looking to throw. He's going to throw, and it is incomplete. And it's going to be fourth down, and Minnesota's going to have to kick. So Minnesota will punt it away. Fourth and 13, the return from the 43. And on to return is Army to the 40-yard line. And it's going to be a first down for Army. Well, Army looking very good as we begin the game here. Walterhouse, the quarterback, going to first down. Walterhouse, the snap. And Walterhouse will run it to the near side, and he gets nothing there. Gain of one. Maybe it's going to be second down. Well, Army is a very tough team. Tucker will come in as quarterback. They shift quarterbacks. They can be explosive offensively. It's going to be a deep throw, and it's going to be incomplete. And try to hit Pitzer, and it's going to be third down. Third down for Army, third and nine. The snap, the handoff, it's going to be straight up the middle. He's going to get about four. Actually, they're going to spot it generously, six. It's going to be fourth and three, and they're going for it. Fourth down and three, and Army is going for it. On a fourth and three for 1945 Army. The snap, and looking to throw, and it's incomplete. And that is Tucker, and he couldn't do anything, and Minnesota will take possession. So it is, right now, six to nothing. Army scored on their first play of the game. And that was it. Minnesota punted, Army punted, and now Minnesota has it. First down, Frank, the quarterback. He's looking, he's going to run to the left-hand side, and then it's with the stop gain of three. It'll be second down. So second down now, and seven. First down, so hard to get. Back to throw, and he's going to look, and he's going to get nothing. And it'll be third down for Minnesota. Third down for Minnesota here. They need a first down. The snap, the look, and he is sacked. Jero Meta with the sack, and it's going to be fourth down, and now Minnesota will have to punt. Minnesota will kick the football, and here it is. The punt is going to be deep, and okay to the 32, and that's going to be the fair catch. So Army will take over a first down and 10. Walter House will be... The quarterback, Army looking good, up six to nothing on the first play. It's 65 to nothing in yards, and now this is just a, a defensive fest right here, and that's going to be first down. Second down for Army. Tucker. And the snap, the handoff, and nothing going there. Cusisto, it'll be third down. Third down for Army. Kind of right now, boring game. 
Back to throw, six to nothing early, and it's gonna dump it off to the running back. He's gonna get a first down and more. Up to the 46 yard line to the 47 and a first down for Army. So Army has it on a third down. They needed a few. They needed 10 and he got 15 and a first down for Army. Tucker the quarterback. And Tucker will keep it and they're not gonna get a thing. They lose two and it'll be second down for the Black Knights. Really not too many first downs in this game for anybody as it's second down and 12. The snap, the handoff, and it's going to be nothing going there. And a tackle here, it's going to be third down. Third and 12 for Army. The snap for Tucker. Tucker looking, he's going to throw, and it's complete. Down to the 35-yard line and a first down. Smith, who plays quarterback for Minnesota. Yes, the tackle and the first first down of the day through the air. Well, the second. One reception of 15 for Blanchard and one of 20 for Pitzer. And that's going to be Pitzer with the catch and a first down for Army. And a handoff and nearing the uh, sideline. And that's going to be Blanchard, a gain of one. It'll be second down. Blanchard, one of the better players in this game. He just scores touchdowns. Second down, McWilliams, two rushes, 57 yards. He's in the game. The snap, they're going to throw it, and it's going to be incomplete. So trying to hit Stewart, it's going to be third down now. Third down, Walterhouse in the game. Hasn't thrown a pass yet, third and nine. The snap, and Walterhouse, he's going to throw, and it is complete. It's complete to the receiver, and he's down to the 14-yard line and first down. So that is big. It's Pitzer again, his second reception for 40 yards. And it's going to be first down and 10 for Army, under three minutes. That's going to be a direct snap, and it's going to be up, and it's going to be a touchdown for Army. And they're blowing away Minnesota now. It is 12 to nothing. extra point even though we get the Minnesotas messed up it is up and it is good and Army is just blowing them out they are just blowing them out right now 13 to nothing Minnesota 1940 can't get anything going and here's the kick it's going to be to the 15 to the 30 to the 40 to the 47 and a first down for Minnesota under two minutes here, first down Minnesota. The snap to Frank, and he's going to hand off. They're not going to get a thing. It's going to be second down. So it'll be second down for the Gophers. Really nothing happening today. Army looking very good. Second down, the handoff. Left side, nothing. There's really not too much you can say. Nothing is going well for Frank. The Smith is in at quarterback. They're not throwing the football at all. Third down. Back to throw. And he's going to run it straight up the middle. And they might keep Smith in for the next set of downs, the next series. And that's going to be at the end of the first quarter. This thing is starting, well, it's starting to simmer down. It, it's Army taking absolute control. Seem on a speed up mood tonight. I was playing, I downloaded an emulator. I have NCAA 14 at home. And I have NCAA 14 at home as we're gonna start the second quarter. And this is gonna be a punt. I'm wondering if this is gonna be bigger for Army. We might just sim the rest of this game since we're simming a double header and it's out of bounds at the 11 yard line. But anyway, I downloaded, Tucker is in at quarterback. I downloaded NCAA 14, was playing around. I'm just trying to get the rosters to work. 
First down and 10. And there's going to be a handoff up the middle and Cusisto. It's going to be a gain of one. It'll be second down. So Army right now with 79 yards rushing. Second down, Tucker. And he's going to throw it. They've been throwing all day, and it's complete to Pitzer. And a first down. Frank with the tackle, and Pitzer has it at the 32-yard line. And a first down for Army. Army is again driving down the field, already 154 yards. The handoff up the middle. It's going to be a first down and more. And another big run. That's going to be to Richmond. His first run of the day, and it's going to be about 13 yards, 16 yards. And first down for Army. As the clock is ticking, the snap, Tucker. Tucker, he's going to throw, and it's going to be complete. And that's McWilliams. And actually, yeah, Tucker, let's see what happens. Um... Tucker threw to Stewart. Sorry about that. And it'll be a first down. The handoff and nothing going there. It'll be second down for Army. So Tucker threw to Stewart on the pass play. Second down for Army. The snap. And here it is. The run. It's going to be up the middle for more up to the 20 yard line. And they're looking really good. Army is just making this impossible. First down and 10 for Army. The snap and the handoff. Up the middle, it's going to be a first down and more. Touchdown, Army. This game is just being absolutely a blowout. Army 19, Minnesota nothing. And now the extra point. The snap, it is up and it is good. And Army is just showing their muscle right now. This game isn't even close. It's a good thing we have a double header, or else this thing would just be, I would say, hey, turn on something better here. To the 35 yard line. Minnesota's going to have to start passing the football. Illegal block. And while well, you're not going to do anything there, they're going to be back on their own six. That's the illegal block. Here's Frank, first down for Minnesota. And the snap. And Frank looking. Frank is going to run the football. And he's only going to get three. It'll be second down. Minnesota has not been able to get a thing going. They're being out gained 222 to nine. And it's going to be third down. 20 to nothing against Minnesota. The handoff up the middle, nothing. They still don't have a first down. And it's going to be fourth down. Army in this big blowout. And the snap, here's the punt. It's going to be punted to the 47-yard line, to the 48. If you're just joining us, it's a good thing we have a doubleheader because Army is just absolutely blowing them out. First down. The snap, and nothing going. That's going to be Pukema. It'll be second down. Second and ten. The handoff. It's going to be the left-hand side into the fumble, and it is Minnesota's. So Minnesota will have the football. We might try and do a couple things. Let's see if they can get anything done. Frank, the quarterback, they hand it off, nothing. Now Army is just absolutely on their rear ends. Smith will come in, second down, the snap. And again, the run up to the 35 yard line to the 36. It'll be third down, third down, the snap. And sack. Jeremetta is second sack of the day, and this thing is a blowout. So here comes Army. They're going to the snap. Here's the kick. A deep kick. The return. 25 30 up to the 35 yard line. Well, Army 20. Minnesota nothing, and it isn't even that close. 
Army's going to try and get this thing down the field to win the football game. The snap, and here comes the run. Past the 50 to the 49 and a first down. Down to the 48. So Army again, it'll be first down and 10. 3.35 to go. The snap. And he's going to take a look to the left-hand side. Fitch with the stop there. It's going to be second and 10. Second and 10 for Army. Tucker, the snap. And he's going to look. He's going to throw it deep, and it's incomplete. Throwing to McWilliams, it's going to be third down. Third down, 224, the snap. And this one's going to be deep, and it is incomplete. Trying to hit Pitzer deep, and it's going to be fourth down and 10. Fourth and 10, they're going to punt the football. And let's see what they do. The kick, it'll be returned at the 20, and it is nothing on the return. So Minnesota, two minutes and four seconds to go. 20 to nothing. It's 255 to five in total yards. Frank, they're going to throw, and it's going to be incomplete second down. Three timeouts apiece remaining. Second down. The snap. Back the handoff to the running back. He fumbles the football, and it's going to be Army, and Army has it. So Army's going to have it, and they can maybe just take this game and win it. So Walter House, it'll be first down. And this is going to the left-hand side to the 20-yard line. Again, a four. It's going to be second down. Second down, a minute 43. And they pitch it to the running back. He's going to go the 10 to the 5. He's in. And Army is just, this, is, this game is a blowout. And this is Army looking really good. And the extra point, it is going to be blocked again, but it's Army 26, Minnesota nothing. I don't think there's any way Minnesota is going to get any sort of needed yards. Because of time constraints, we're going to go after this half to the end of the third quarter. Frank, Frank, and that's going to be incomplete. It'll be second down. 26 to nothing. The snap, the blitz is on, the throw, and it's going to be incomplete. It's going to be third down. Army leading 26 to nothing. The snap. Frank looking. Frank, he's going to throw. It's going to be deeper, and it's incomplete. They still don't have a first down, and now they're going to kick. So... Here comes Army on the return with 25 seconds to go. And they're going to return it to the 25. And he's down a punt of 55, a return of 18. So now they're just going to probably take a knee or maybe just run it up the middle. This is Tucker, and Tucker is tackled a gain of eight. Maybe they use a timeout, maybe not. And that's going to be it. That's it for the half. And Army has a 26 to nothing lead, and we're going to skip ahead to the fourth quarter and see if, let's see, um, there it is. We're going to zoom ahead to the end of the third quarter. And it is... Army still 26 to nothing. And they... Oh, Minnesota. As, they're just beating Minnesota up. And we're just going to go probably zoom with a minute to go. And it's 33 to nothing. And all Army is doing 
is taking a knee, and that's going to be it. Army wins 33 to nothing over Minnesota. So that's going to be game number one, and now we're going to go. But what a blowout for Army. They just blew out Minnesota. So take a look at the stats on the page for the stats there. And now we're going to go to the next game, our featured game, 1950. Uh, Tennessee against 1957 Michigan State. And Tennessee, we just don't have, there it is, and we're going to put the field for them. There it is. Tennessee, rain, there it is. So, let's see, Tennessee, there it is. So let's go to the field now. And we're going to go Tennessee and Michigan State now. Michigan State, they're big underdogs also. Michigan State and Tennessee. We're about ready to go as Michigan State plays Tennessee. And the we're about ready as, hey, both teams. Both teams should be good. So Michigan State, Tennessee. Tennessee, the heavy favorite actually here in this game. They are a gigantic favorite on this game. So Michigan State looking to try and survive. The other game was 33 to nothing, and Tennessee will kick off. We had a feeling these might both be blowouts, but Michigan State will have an 11-yard return. I can't believe that Army team. That Army team is just so good. Nanowski, the quarterback, Kowalczyk and Gilbert, the running backs, Kaiser and Harding, the wide receivers, and Williams. They played a big game earlier in the year, and they got beat big. First and 10 for Michigan State. The snap, they hand off up the middle and nothing going there. So again, a one, it's going to be second down. Michigan State and Tennessee. Here in Neyland Stadium, second down, the blitz is on. Nanowski and the throw, it's going to be deep and it's going to be complete to the 41-yard line and a first down. So 41-yard line and that's going to be a big first down for Michigan State as they need an early score. That would be a huge upset if they won. First down, the snap, the running back, he's gonna take it to the 41, and it's gonna be second down. There are some monster games coming up in that other bracket. Second down and 10, we're gonna go over that after this game. The pitch to the near side, it's gonna be first down and more, and here comes Michigan State. A gain of 14 and a first down, Tennessee, they have one team 
that already won in each bracket. And if Tennessee wins again, you could have three out of four final four teams as Tennessee. And the handoff up the middle, that's going to be nothing. Kowalczyk, that's going to be his third run he has, a total of 16 yards. Second down from Michigan State. The handoff up the left-hand side, nothing going there, and it's going to be third down. Long drives, hard to get in these, these games. Third down, Nanowski, he's going to throw. He's had a good year so far, and Nanowski's going to run. There's a penalty, a fumble, and it's going to be Tennessee's ball, and what is the fumble? What is the penalty? What is it? It's going to be holding an offense, and it'll be declined, and Tennessee will take over. So Tennessee will take over, and now the leading rusher, Laura Sella, this is the year before he was the leading rusher. He's just a very good rusher in this one. And it's going to be first down and 10. Hut, hut. And a snap, Loricella. And Loricella looking. It's going to be a screen pass. And Hahn tried to hit Hahn. And it's going to be second down. So incomplete. Second down for Tennessee. The snap, Loricella. He can run really well. He passes. It's going to be incomplete. He's going to hit Cassetta. It's going to be third down. Third down for Tennessee. The snap back, Loricella. He's going to throw, and he gets it down to Cassetta. Cassetta down to the 30-yard line and a first down. So Cassetta will have it down at the 30-yard line, and it will have a first down. First down and 10. So first and 10, Loricella. The snap looking. Looking, and Loricella again to the 23-yard uh, line, a gain of six, and it's going to be second down. Second down for Tennessee, second and four. The snap, and they're going to run it. Loricella, and he's going to get a first down, a gain of five. So a gain of five, very big, and a first down for Tennessee. 8.27 to go. First and 10, Tennessee. The snap, Loricella, the handoff. And he's going to the 15-yard line. And it'll be a second down. Second and six, a gain of four. They're moving the football pretty well. Loricella, he's going to throw, and it's going to be incomplete. Tried to hit Rechikar, the future Detroit Lion. And it'll be third down and six. Third and six, halfway through the first. Loricella runs up the middle, touchdown Tennessee. And Tennessee has scored early, and it is six to nothing. And they did what they should against Michigan. And it is an early lead. It is looking good for Tennessee. Tennessee now with the extra point. And it is up, and it is good. And Tennessee is doing what other people expect. One possession each. Tennessee's the only one that scores. And Tennessee seven to nothing. As they're gonna kick off here. Kicking deep is Tennessee, Michigan State at the ten. And up to the 36-yard line. That's going to be Martin. Janowski's 101 for 27. He might have to throw a few more times. First down and 10, Michigan State. The earlier game was 33 to nothing. Uh, just absolute blowout by Army. And this is going to be second down. Second down for Michigan State. The blitz is on the run. And nothing fumble. And it is Michigan State. So Michigan State will keep it. It'll be third down and nine now. Nanowski on a third and nine. Back to throw. He's going to throw, and it is incomplete. Not even close. It's going to be fourth down. Fourth down, and they're going to have to punt. So nothing. Oh, what an awful punt. That one was 10 yards. That punt was 10 yards. This is a... Oh my, everything imploding for Michigan State. And here comes Tennessee, 10-yard punt. 
That was horrible. First down, Loricella. And Loricella will run. He's always very good at running. And it's going to be a gain of 15, a first down. So first down and 10 for Tennessee. And a 440 to go in the quarter. Looking good running the football. And that's going to be another gain of seven. And that's going to be Rechikar on the trap. 11 yards on two rushes. Second and three. And Loricella is going to run. He's going to get a first down. So they gain five. They just keep going and going and going. And a first down for Tennessee. First down. The snap to the right-hand side. He's going to get a few. He gets a first down. And down to the six-yard line. We could have maybe two blowouts in the day. First and goal from the six for Tennessee. Back to throw, and he's going to throw. No, and it's going to be dropped. He had Carter in the end zone. It's going to be second down. Second down, snap. And he's going to run. He scores. Loricella, good night. Good night, and Loricella scores. And Tennessee, 13 7, they lead, just looking really good. There's no way Michigan State's gonna keep up. There's the extra point. And it is up, and it is good. And if this holds, it's gonna be Army and Tennessee, a whale of a football game. Tell you, this game is just pretty much been all one-sided. Michigan State had a little bit of uh, momentum up to the 35, the 40, and up to the 48. So they get good kickoffs, but nothing else. First down and 10, Anowski. And he's going to hand it off and a good gain of three. That'll be Gilbert, second down, three rushes, three yards now. He had two rushes for zero yards before. Second down, that's going to be nothing. Holohan with a tackle. And it's going to be third down. 54 seconds to go. Third down, the snap. And he's going to throw, and it's going to be incomplete. So trying for Harding, it's going to be fourth down, and now they got a kick. So Tennessee looking very good. There's a penalty. And the punt. Maybe a penalty, maybe not. I don't know. No, it isn't. The only thing we know is this is now the end of the first quarter. to go the second quarter this game has been just all Tennessee like seriously it's been all Tennessee Loricella and he's gonna run and he gets a lot of yards here and another first down so Tennessee is really ratcheting up their running Loricella's one of five throwing the ball for 28 yards, but again, Loricella, and he's going to run it himself again. A one panic with the stop. Actually, they're going to gain three. It's going to be second down. Second down. The blitz is on. They throw. It's going to be complete. And down to the 40 yard line and a first down. So a first down for Tennessee. 
They might maybe, maybe make it two scores. First down for Lorisella in Tennessee. The snap, the pitch to the near side and a good run, a gain of six. And let's see what the penalty is. Encroachment, defense, five yard penalty. They're gonna accept the penalty. Tennessee 14, Michigan State nothing. And Tennessee the snap to the right hand side to the 30, down to the 25 yard line and a first down. Tennessee is just too much really for Michigan State. Michigan State might not be able to contain uh, Tennessee. The blitz is on. They're going to run it to the 20. And gain of eight, it's going to be second down. Now the clock is ticking, 14 to nothing. 12.19 to go. The snap, Loricella. And he's going to tackle a Kaiser, and it's going to be third down. Third and um, third and two. And there's a penalty. False start. Offense, five yard penalty. There's going to be a five yard penalty there. So it's going to be back. It's going to be third and seven. Back to throw, Loricella. And he's sacked. It's going to be a loss of 11, and it's going to be fourth down. And now they're going to have to pot. No, they're going for it. Fourth and 18. Let's see how they pull this off if they do. Fourth and 18, Loricella, he's going to throw it deep. And incomplete. And it's going to be, he was trying to hit Cassetta. And here comes Michigan State. First down and 10 for Michigan State. The snap, the handoff to the left-hand side. And that's going to be... Uh, Gilbert, it's going to be second down. Tennessee leading 14 to nothing. The snap, the handoff again, the trap, nothing going there. And it's going to be third down. Michigan State was the was a big underdog coming here today. Third down, the snap, and it's incomplete. Rechikar with the coverage, it's going to be fourth down, and now they're going to kick. Oh, I'll tell you what, Michigan State is just not doing anything to help their own cause. Tennessee shot themselves in the foot with the false start and then the sack. But they have 99 yards rushing here, 145 total in a day. It's 145 to 50. The snap, it's going to be straight through and incomplete. Second down. So it's Tennessee 14, Michigan State nothing. Second down, Loricella. And he's going to throw. I have no idea why they are just throwing the football right now. They are running so well. And they're just throwing the football every down. Third down. It's like Michigan State. There's a penalty. And that might be interference. Pass interference. Defense. 10-yard penalty. Automatic. First it's going to be an automatic first down as Tennessee has it at the 40-yard line. First down and 10 for Tennessee. The snap, here comes Tennessee. They're going to run and maybe get a yard, or they'll get two. It's second down. Very big possession. If they score, they'll go ahead by three scores. Second down, Loricella. They're going to dump it off to the running back of first down and more. He could have, he could outrun anybody. And it's to the 10, to the seven yard line and a first down. That is big. Laura Sella to Rechikar and a first down for Tennessee. First down for Tennessee. And that's going to be a timeout Michigan State. They're trying to make everything they're trying to get everything going here. It's going to be first down and 10 for Tennessee to the left-hand side. Touchdown. Well, that was easy. Loricella, and he nails it. And this is, quite frankly, this is another blowout. The extra point. The up and it is good. Well, contrary to all the other games that we've had. This game is an absolute blowout. As 
were just looking up in the sky going, oh my, I thought they, I thought this might have the makings of a possibility of an all right game. But right now, it's just all Tennessee and a kick to the up man. To the 24-yard line, it'll be first down. So here comes Michigan State. They're down by 21, and there's a penalty. Ball start. Offense, five-yard penalty. Repeat, first down. And everybody looking in the sky, it's first and 15. The snap, the handoff to the 20-yard line. It's going to be second down after a gain of one. Second down, and that's going to be a timeout again for Michigan State. Michigan State calls a timeout. They're already down by 21, and they are getting killed. The snap back looking, and a sack by Polofsky. And it'll be third and 21. See, we thought the 116 games would be like this, and they weren't. So third down. The snap back to throw. The blitz is on. The throw, and it is incomplete. And it'll be fourth down, and now they're going to punt. So Michigan State will have to kick. It's going to be returned by Tennessee. It in. No, it's a return to 12. He fumbles the football. Pulaski will pick it up, but it'll be a first down for Tennessee. This game is a blowout. An absolute blowout. The run to the left hand side. There's just almost no hope for Michigan State. A gain of eight, second down. They're going for the kill shot here. Second down. Loricella and Loricella will take it down to the 21. He has 103 yards today, and it'll be a first down for Tennessee. This game is just a blowout right now. First down, Loricella to throw. The only thing keeping him is when he throws the football. He's not very good at that. It's going to be second and 10. Loricella is 3 of 10 for 97 yards. Second and seven, Loricella to throw. And he's going to run it himself. He's going to get three more, and it'll be third down and four. Well, the clock is ticking. Loricella, third down and four, back to throw. And he's going to run it himself. He's close, and he gets a first down, so Tennessee will have it. First down for the Volunteers in 1950. If they score again, we're just going to probably go to the half. And Laura Sella, nothing here. It'll be second down. So second down for Tennessee. The snap back to throw. The blitz is on by the one linebacker. The throw and incomplete. So it'll be third down. Just this game is just absolutely... It's not the most exciting. Third down, the blitz is on again. And that's going to be deflected. Fourth down, are they going to go for it or kick? And they're going to kick the field goal. 121 to go, the snap. The kick is up. It is over, and that one is straight down the pipes. Easy, easy, easy. And it is all Tennessee. All Tennessee, so they're going to kick it deep. Tennessee to Michigan State, and they're going to run it up to the 25, the 30, up to the 40-yard line, and this clock is ticking. Really, Tennessee 24, Michigan State nothing for the sake of time. If they don't score here, we're just going to go ahead, and nothing here, Atkins. A gain of nothing, it'll be second down. Michigan State will use their final timeout. Ninowski, the handoff again to the outside, and he goes out of bounds. Nothing there, third and ten. Clock is stopped, 43 seconds. Ninowski, and he's sacked by Jasper. So it'll be fourth down. They might just... Let the clock run, and 32 seconds to go. They're going to run, and they're going to return it. 
And that should be it, a fumble. And Polovsky again will return it. And that's gonna be the half. That is the half. We'll see you in a bit, in a, a minute. games have been pretty poor tonight. We're going to zoom ahead to the fourth quarter. So we're going to zoom ahead to the fourth quarter and see uh, what the score is. It's 27 to nothing. Tennessee driving. And we're going to zoom ahead with two minutes to go in the game. And it's 34 to nothing. Jasper, they just picked it off. And it is 350 to 109. It has just been a slop fest. Two minutes to go. They're going to snap. They're going to hand it off. And they're just going to really run off the clock. A gain of three. And Michigan State's not going to call a timeout. They're just going to end this game. Hand off up the middle. Tennessee's gonna beat Michigan State by a lot. And when I mean by a lot, I mean by a lot. That's gonna be a knee and that's the football game as Tennessee wins 34 to nothing. So two teams that have been, well, it's been Tennessee good all year and Michigan State uh, well, let's put it this way. Michigan State got there by not playing the hardest of schedules, but now the best of the rest. So let's take a look at what the uh, games are. Tomorrow, it's only one game a night. Notre Dame and Alabama. Oh, that's going to be a heck of a game. Notre Dame and Alabama. Tennessee, UCLA. At the Rose Bowl, we could have another Alabama-UCLA matchup. Then Tennessee and Oklahoma. Laura Sella, the quarterback for Tennessee in both the 51 and the 50 teams. Will they both make it? None make it? What's going to happen? Those games are even. And then Tennessee and Army, both teams winning by a combined 67 and nothing. Both teams looking very good. And both teams are one and two on the, on the power ratings for the eight teams remaining, with Alabama and Notre Dame three and four. So we're only going by strength of wins, uh, like the, uh, the number of points you won by, but I will tell you this, that Tennessee is very well represented, but... How many of the three will go through? Zero, one, two, or three. The games tomorrow should be really good. That is it for us today. Time constraints, it's 11 at night. Hey, we will see you tomorrow. What a eh, kind of a boring day, but you saw two powerful teams, and it sets up the quarterfinals.